Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Sitz here at Court Theater, and can you believe it? We are back doing live theater. And we're gonna do one of our special things that we always like to do, which is a set tour of our current show, which is running, and it is The Tragedy of Othello, The Moor of Venice. And not only do we have Luke Lemansky, our technical director, we've also got a special guest, Kelvin Roston Jr., who plays the lead role of Othello. And uh, let's get started. All right, and there's Luke. Luke, how you doing? I'm doing great, Matthew. Thanks. Excellent. And there's Kelvin. Kelvin, yeah, awesome, no, and no, he no. knows. And look at that shirt, Kelvin. He's awesome, and he knows it. Yes, <laughs> yes, you are. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking time out of your day, and uh, let's uh, let's do a little set tour, yeah? Let's go. All right. I'll follow you, gentlemen. All right. So right off the bat, you're going to see it's drastically different from a normal uh, show here you'll see that there's audience seating both on stage and then over house left. Uh, we're gonna continue on stage and walk underneath the scaffolding. So the scaffolding has two levels. There's this first level that people can walk underneath and, and use and also the second level. That and that's, that's the actors, right? Not yes. The, okay. Yeah. yeah. And then on stage, we have about 45 seats here and then about the same out in the house as well. All so right. we have audience very close uh, to the performers. Wow, I mean the scaffolding. I'm I'm geeking out about the scaffolding. Can we can we hop in one of the? Can we get up there? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and go in the okay. downstairs scaffolding over here. So one of the ways to get up to the second level is uh, these staircases. So most of the scaffolding itself, its structure was rented, um, and then we took it, attached it, layered plywood over it, layered carpet over it, and made it so it was more. Um, friendly, safe environment to use up here. So we are now on the second level and we're bridging the onstage scaffolding over to the house scaffolding. Whoa, hey. there's Kelvin. I thought you were behind me. Where'd you come up from? There are a couple of ladders to also access the second level of the scaffolding. Wow. So you're acting all up here. Yes. And the patrons are all down there <laughs> on stage, which we'll get to in a minute, and over in house left. This is incredible. Awesome. And that's, uh, oh, and that's the that's where the stage management sits up there? Yeah, absolutely. And that's where the Call lighting. the show wow. keeps us running. <laughs> folks, there's the entrance to the lobby. This is incredible. And wait a minute. Well, I guess we'll get to in a second. The patrons, how are they going to be able to see us from down there? I guess we'll see that in a second, yeah? Yeah, so... Should we go back down there? Let's go. Absolutely. All right. The chairs that we have for anyone that's on stage is a swivel chair. So as the performance is going on, you can swivel and keep up with the action uh, as you see. Fit. And anyone else in the house has a sight line of the entire set um, as you sit out there. Wow. Theater in the round at Court Theater. Incredible. I mean, I got I to gotta test this out. <laughs> so if I'm sitting in yellow right here, mm -hmm. look at this. So I'm on the swivel chair. Look at this. So there's Kelvin acting. Whoa. Whoa. You can still see me. Incredible. This is amazing. There's some more production staff over there working. There's Keith and Megan and Roth. And there's Aaron working on lights. Couldn't do it without them. Exactly. There's Emily, too, who's working on lights as well. Wow. So, gentlemen, why, let's take a seat and uh, let me just ask okay. you a couple of questions here. Cool. So, I mean, first of all, what's it like to just be back doing live theater? <laughs> well, uh, for me, of course, it's my occupation, so it's always awesome to get back to doing what you do. Um, but it, it's been amazing to see how happy and excited patrons are actually to be back in the space and to be able to experience us just as we're experiencing them. It's an amazing feeling. Wow. Luke, what about you, man? Yeah, you know, just getting back with the team of carpenters and getting sets loaded in and then making it happen for the actors. You know, it's the, the day where we turn the set over to them and let them uh, come out and start making this world and creating it is, is one of those days that you, you know, and I enjoy and miss, so it's exciting to be back into that world and then for the audience to be able to come and enjoy is, 
It's great. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Kelvin, I think this is kind of like more for you. What's it like to perform for audiences that are, I mean, right here on stage? Uh, well, I've had a, I've had experiences like me before. You know, I've worked in black box theaters, which are generally small and intimate. So I've been in intimate spaces, but it is in a, it is a, of course new here at Court Theater. So um, it, it, it was a small adjustment, and and it happened really quickly actually yeah. for me. How do you how do you use that you know with them being so close? How do you use that to your advantage? Well, the 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 advantage of this type of setup is the intimacy. Uh, you are able to um, it, it it allows more of a mix between uh, theater techniques and television techniques. That you know I don't necessarily have to project as much to try to get to the back because they're all right here. So I can you know I can make some smaller gestures that oh, mean a whole lot more when people are right up here to see them, you know, more eyebrows and things instead of having to be as big and boisterous. Wow. Um, with the scaffolding, how do you use that, um, the scaffolding in the different locations? Well, what, what I have learned um, from, you know, we're in previews now and I've spoken to a couple of people and uh, with, with the genius of the lights and the, the set being built how it was built, um, I've heard from audience members that their imagination takes over. We don't have to spoon feed them all the locations. They said as we move around it, their mind takes them to where we are, the outside grotto, if we're walking and talking, or um, the, the, the Senate, uh, they, they, I was told that they see it. And it's, it's amazing that the audience gets to paint these pictures themselves. It's incredible. And uh, Luke, forgive me if you said this, uh, who designed the set for this? John Colbert. John Colbert. Set designer, yes. Amazing designer. Yes, he is. Wow. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. Uh, any final <laughs> words? Folks, we run through December 5th, so get yes. your tickets now. We are not lying. We are selling out fast. That was going to be my final word. Come. Come. <laughs> come on out. Tell yeah. a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, enjoy. All right. Well, gentlemen, again, thank you. Appreciate it. And, uh, folks, we'll see you soon at our live theater. Let's go. Take care. Thank you.